Hi, welcome to our channel Shaha Computer Education Center. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create tab order of cells in Excel. So this will be very useful when you are doing a data entry job. Let's see, suppose you are going to do a data entry job in this form. So here first you have to put the serial number, then the contact name, then the nickname, company, job title, address, then city, state, pin code, level, mobile 1, mobile 2, email, notes and birth date. We have to enter the data in this order. You can see here we have given the order. But if you want to move from this cell to this cell, you have to press enter or down arrow. But by pressing enter or down arrow one time, you cannot move it. Suppose if I press enter, it will go to the next row, not the row 11. So you have to press two time. And if you want to go to write, that is nickname in this cell, then you have to press tab or right arrow. But in this case also, you have to press one, two, three times. One, two, three times. But this will be very hectic job to do in this way. So for that reason, tab order is very essential so that when you press tab, it directly moves to here, then here, the order you set. So let's see how this tab order works. So the first cell is D9. Here if I press on D9, you can see all these cells got selected. Now press F8. Continue to press F8, you can see the tab is moving according to these orders. Here G13, then D15, you can see here D15, then D17, 19, 21, 23. Now it will move to G15, 17, 19, 21, 23. So with the help of this tab order, you can do your data entry job more easily in a form. So let's see how can we create this tab order with the help of VVA. But before starting this tutorial, I request you to subscribe our channel if you have not yet subscribed and press the bell button so that you can get regular notifications and updates from our channel when we upload new excel automation videos that makes your life easier and wonderful so let's begin this tutorial so first create this form i have not shown how to create this form because it will take much time so i have taken a ready-made form and here i will try to show you how to create the tab order so first we have to select the tab order so what is your tab order your tab order is that is first cell will be d9 then d11 then g11 d13 g13 then d15 17 19 21 and 23 and here after this it will move to g15 then g17 19 21 and 23. Now we will press Alter F11 to open Visual Basic application. So we got the Visual Basic application. Now first we have to insert a module. Go to insert then module. Here we have to paste a code. So paste it here. You can see it is a general declaration that is option explicit public tag order flag as boolean you have to put this code that is option explicit and public tag order flag in this general code area after that you have to create another macro that is sub tab order mode tab order flag equal to not tab order flag and sub so you have to first create this one 
after that we have to create a, another code in the worksheet so double click sheet 1 here you have to paste another code so paste the code here so you can see first we have declared in the general option explicit then private worksheet selection change that is we have taken here worksheet and then from here selection change so private sub worksheet selection change by value target as range if not intersect target comma range b7 to i25 so, so let's see what is b7 to i25 b7 is this one that means within b7 to i25 within this range if you click then automatically it will select the tab order so is nothing then dim tab order as variant x as variant address as string rg as range and target as range that is in short form we have written targ as range if tab order flag equal to true then exit sub that means if we click outside the cell then the code will exit that means we will exit the macro it the tab order will not work but if we click within this range then tab order will work now here we set the tab order as we have already said that first d11 sorry d9 then d11 g11 in this way we have given here tab order equal to array within bracket within double quotation d9 comma d11 comma g11 in this way we have type all the cells now for each x in tab order that means x is the range here so for each x in the tab order it will that means if we are starting a loop it will check if rg rg is range is nothing then set rg equal to x that means if we click within the tab order and that is it will set rg as range x else set range union rg comma x range x so when we click on any cell then this x become the cell address and so it's showing the range that means we are making the union of the range and if next set target equal to intersect rg dot target then rg dot select then here if target is nothing then address equal to target dot cells 1 comma 1 dot address within bracket column absolute equal to false absolute row absolute equal to false x equal to application dot match address comma tab order 0 if is error x then range tab order l bound tab order dot activate else target dot activate and if and if and so you have to create this code in the sheet code area for which you have created the form so you have to put this code on that sheet which have the form so now go to the sheet and save the file so now here we will save it as as a macro ML workbook so press a no then here type tab order suppose one save it sorry here you have to select macro enabled workbook set now if i click outside nothing is happening and if i select here all these cells are selected and press tab is working according to the order we have set in the VB. And if you don't want to work with this tab order, then press Alter F8 and run this macro. 
now you can see if I select it's not working and again if you want the tab order to work then press alter F8 and run it again now click here you can see it's working in this way you can create a tab order for a data entry excel file and make your work more easier so i hope you have understood this tutorial and if you need the vva code then you can get it in the description box so i hope you like this video so please hit the like button and if you have any queries or any request you can write me in the comment section so thanks for watching the video till the end see you soon in the next tutorial